everybody. Welcome to episode 30 of Staying Connected. I'm really glad to see all of you guys here. Well, sort of see. I guess I, I use the term see, even though it's like I'm not actually like, I don't actually see you. I'm not watching you through your computers all creepy like. Um, but I am glad for you to be here and I hope that you're still watching and enjoying and getting something out of this. Um, it dawned on me, this is episode 30. That's like almost give or take five weeks, five weeks of doing this, five weeks of being uh, sheltering place. Um, that's a lot. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't even really know what to do with that. Um, <laughs> just because like, it didn't dawn on me how long it's been until I started thinking about this today. And um, for some people, that's a lot <laughs> and um I've, I've come to notice with some people that i you know message with and keep up with and i'm seeing on facebook and all of this that we've reached the point where we found our new normal and we found a routine and we found a comfort but we're still feeling overwhelmed like we're still having days where we are so overwhelmed by the new normal that we don't know how to process it. And I know that there are a lot of people who are at home and they're with their kids and they're with their spouses and they're, you know, trying to juggle all of this stuff. And they just, they feel like they have to do it all. They have to take care of everybody around them and they've got to be there for them and they've got to do this and they got to do this. And you know, what I really want to encourage everybody is that our mental health and our social health is just as important as our physical health. And we need to keep up with that. And we need to remember that it's okay to be overwhelmed. And it's okay to stand in a room, look around at the people around us that need us. And we know they need us and go, okay, I, I am overwhelmed by what is happening. I need, I, I need a minute to take a breath. And for you parents out there who are like, yeah, Caitlin, but you don't really get it because you don't got kids around. So obviously you don't understand what it's like to be so overwhelmed and your kids over in the th corner throwing a fit and you're just losing your mind trying to teach them this math that they don't understand or this history assignment that they should know how to do what i'm saying is that we just need to take a breath and let's be honest with our kids i mean it's better at least in my opinion, and a lot of people can disagree, it's better if we're honest with them. When we are feeling overwhelmed and we need a minute to just sit and take a breath, look at your kid. Look at your spouse. Look at your significant other. Look at your siblings. Look at your parents. Whoever you're stuck with, look at them and go, I am overwhelmed. Let's just sit. Sit down wherever you're at. Have them sit with you. If that's what's going to take, take a deep breath. Take the time to get focused because even though we've got to rush to get through these things because we feel like we have to do this and this and this to accomplish our day, remember God is with us. We just need to take it moment by moment and worry about today and not tomorrow and just remember that tomorrow will always be there. And our worries and our fears will always be there. And I've had to do that several times. I mean, I showed you guys a video last week of me. I, I, I left. And that is something here we've kind of had to work on. Because, you know, as many of you may know, my mom and I, we take care of those around us. So we're really good at pushing ourselves trying to take care of each other and take care of those around us until the point that we're like, I'm just done. I just have to be done. Um, yeah, so that's my little thought for today. Um, it's not quite as happy and upbeat, but, you know, I, I'm trying to at least talk on topics that I know people are worried about or have concerns. Um, I would like to share a verse with you that somebody shared on Facebook. It's actually Jesse shared it. Um, I read it this morning. It brought me a little peace and comfort. It's a little long, so bear with me. Um, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is, <laughs> is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. 
yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit, cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, and yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own troubles. Matthew six twenty five to 34. Just remember, our worries are there, but no matter how big our worries are, God is bigger, and he's there for us. So... Today's daily challenge. Um, I am cheating again just a little bit today because I am pulling something off of um, the gish hunt that I did over the weekend because, well, let's be honest. I'm going to be pulling a lot of things from there. Um, this one is pretty simple. Um, it might be a little late in the day because, uh, you know, I'm a little late today. But um, let's try... Today or tomorrow, if this is something you'd rather do tomorrow, let's try mixing it up a little bit. And let's find a new fun place to take a nap. That's what I'm going to call for tomorrow's daily challenge. I just want everybody to take a nap tomorrow. At some point during the day, take a nap. But don't do it in your bed. Be like, I am going to nap underneath my kitchen table. That's where I'm going to do it. Or maybe if you're little and you're fun, well, okay. Okay. Little and fun don't necessarily, but if you're little and you're like, I want to do something really wild and crazy, I'm going to take a nap on my kitchen table. Um, so yeah, let's try that for our daily challenge. And show me where you're napping. Show me where you're finding time to find peace. Um, yeah. So let's pray together and um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, oh, you're... You are so great and so big and so amazing and all of our worries we just lay out for you and we just want you to know that we trust you, we believe in you, we have faith in you and we just want you to come into our hearts and be with us. When we are overwhelmed by everything going on, we just, we want to know that you're there for us and we want to be there for you in any way that we can. So please just come into our hearts, come into our souls, come into our homes and our lives and be there for us because we love you. We appreciate you. In your name. Amen. Okay. Bye.